Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. Uh, we are playing our Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, we've got Sam and Lou with us today, as you can see. And me, Hello. obviously, playing badly, as normal. Um, we've played two or three sessions already. We are just about to fight Fat Man, I believe. Uh, fat Bot? Is that his name? Fat Man? Fat Man, boss. yeah. Fat Man. <laughs> the, the worst Fat Boss, yeah. <laughs> the worst guy in the world. And I've also got loads of Chupa Chups, which I will be sucking all the way through this, because I don't do much talking while I'm playing. Anyway, let's go. I want a lolly now that you've got one. Sorry, we got them for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, this is this is we're rec we're pre-recording this obviously, but this is going out a day after uh, two days after Halloween, and we decided to get a few sweets this year because we're usually miserable about it. But put them on the stairs. One of the bags disappeared over the couple of days that it was there, so we didn't actually get to give that out. And then we went out anyway on Halloween night, so we didn't. <laughs> so we've got loads of sweets. Brilliant. So I can't quite remember where we where we're up to. Uh, we pretty much just defused the last of the of the bombs and Stillman yes. just got blown up. Yeah. And I think it's a case of legging it. Yeah, we've just had the little fight with well I say fight, the little engagement with Fortune and it's now leg it to the top of the um strut F is it with the um you know the the Harrier jet on top of it and stuff like that. Alright, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That one. So it's down and then out of the northeast door of this strut A when you get down to the bottom. Northeast door. Yeah. That's not it. No, when you have to go down the stairs and then out the northeast oh, door. Fucking hell, I knew that was <laughs> just before I walked into it then. <laughs> I was thinking, are there any uh, <laughs> mines in there? Oh well. Okay. Lots of sensors. Didn't need to do that. <laughs> I don't think you're ever going to come back there again, so do not matter. Ah, uh, the countdown music's playing. Yep. Dun, dun. Shit. Straight away. The enemy sighted. Where am I going, Lou? Sam? Northeast door, remember? Oh dear. It's just going to be a case we're just going to run through the game. <laughs> alerts every like stage <clears throat> to go. Anti-stealth run. Just running through all of the rooms with a big pair of symbols smashing together. Oh, what? <laughs> yep. The guards are quite good at timing their kicks so that they hit you when you're doing your little cartwheel thing. There will be an exact timing to it, but yeah. I, I so selected the SOCOM then. We were actually saved right outside where the, where he was. Uh, it could be because it's the timer though, you have to like... Uh, you know, start the timer a bit again, because you can't... Save scum on here because you're not playing on an emulator, are you? No. Where am I going? You've got plenty of time anyway. Uh, so you're still heading north out this door, so stay on this level and just go round and out the door to the north end of this room. Yeah, so the video goes really crappy for me as well, Sam. Up yeah. or down? Down? Up, oh, up. Oh, you should have stayed on the up. Oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> there was no need for you to jump down on that staircase either. You could have just walked around there and gone up through the door. <clears throat> Alas. Straight. Yep. <laughs> the next strut is the one you want to be in, you're going up to the top level of the strut that you're currently entering. Uh, so you're heading to the, again, to the northeast staircase in this room. So just stay on the right hand side of the room, basically. 
Look those stairs. Oh. Oh, it's another guy there. <laughs> this dude's well coming down the stairs. Okay now. Yeah, the spawn points are really weird. They're basically spawned wherever they feel like they can come into the room and mess you up the most. Because there's no way that there's guards stationed on the top of this heliport waiting, like, to come out. Anyway. I guess if they get the game wants oh. you to encounter guards, though. Up the stairs, there's nothing yeah, around here. I was seeing if there was a ration <laughs> anyway, because I've used quite a lot getting here. Uh, from what I remember, the Fat Man fight isn't that hard. The tricky thing is having to defuse the bombs whilst you're fighting him, but, like... The actual fight itself just run around and shoot it a lot. <laughs> he moves fast for a big bloke, fat man. He's on ice skates, isn't he? Like a boss. I think roller skates, not ice skates. <laughs> ice skates! <laughs> or roller oh. blades. I think he's got like inline blades. By the way, Lou, I got the lava waders last night. Let's not talk about Terraria in this, shall we? <laughs> We're allowed to, you know. Yeah, but let's not. We're talking about Metal Gear Solid. <coughs> but I want them. So you're too, you're too, you're too <laughs> close to it. The angle is too steep. There you can hear his roller skates. His gimmer skates. He is a total <coughs> arsehole. Isn't he like? Hasn't he got a glass of fucking red wine that he like? He's rolling around. Ooh. Fizzy Pops Cola flavour. Having some of that. This guy's a dickhead, I hate him already. He's, yeah, you spoke, he is an absolute arsehole. Wait until you see him. The worst Metal Gear boss like ever. Not in terms of the actual fight is really bad, he's just an absolute bellend. <laughs> this fight I don't dislike as much. Good. I don't yeah, like yeah, him. This fight's actually quite a cool fight, I like it. <laughs> Look at him, with his glass of wine, with a straw in it. Bombs tell the time with every moment of he's he's so basically he's wearing, got he's a love a affair a with bombs, hasn't he? Well, yeah, he's wearing a, bo a bomb uh, diffuse suit, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's a very big one. Well, he's a bit, pretty big guy. What's that film, The Hurt Locker? Nowhere yeah. near, nowhere near his mouth, by the way, that. No. I haven't seen her. Okay. Do you just drink that all in one go, like instantly? It just disappears. Two sips. He did gulp it at least twice. It's just the wine just went like that and was gone. <clears throat> it's not that funny, mate. It really isn't. <laughs> I like how he's just holding the wine glass. I hate that. I could care less. Right, so you care a bit then? <laughs> oh. yeah. That's that's American. Really like annoying. That. That's an American, isn't that? It's really a bad one as well. Oh yes, they will. I'll go down in history as the man who beat Peter Stillman. That's but no one, no, no one, one cares. Who Peter Stillman yeah. was. No one cares after. who Peter Stillman is. Maybe that world famous bomb disposal expert. No, nobody does because they don't have world famous bomb disposal experts. <laughs> <laughs> Six months ago, six months ago, the liquidation of Dead Cell. Call it what oh, you yeah. want. Only the right stuff survived that hell. Set me free, you know. He sounds like um. Open the way to a new dimension. Not Mutley. He sounds like some <laughs> some um. Emperor among detonation devotees. I can't think of the cartoon. It's like one of them Hanna Barbera cartoons. Hanna Barbera. Barbera. Hanna Barbera. <laughs> Hanna-Barbaria. <laughs> is it Hanna-Barbara? Yes, it is. I thought it was Hanna-Barbaria or something like that. I thought it was Hanna-Barbara. I thought it was yeah. an Enid. Sam's usually more right than you are, Lou, so I'm, I believe Sam. You should be more I've right. It, I've never heard it pronounced, but... Hanna-Barbara seems to be the one in my mind. Yeah, you're right. Hanna-Barbara. Yeah. I've always called it Hanna-Barbara. Fuck uh, you! you Fuck you for once! Fucking language twat! Do you remember how this fight goes, mate, by the way? Um. So you gotta find the bombs each time and defuse them. Uh, and then the tactic to, hit, to defeat him is to chase him round, shoot him a few times with your SOCOM. And then when he's down, you've gotta shoot him in the head, either with your tranquilizer or your SOCOM. 
but you have to knock him over by shooting him a few times first. Mm -hmm. So that's basic tactics. So it's a lot of running around and shooting. It's a bit like the Ocelot fight in that regard, but it's more fast-paced. Right, so now he's going to be trying to set bombs again, so you've got to get up to him and shoot him. Not like that. You have to knock him over first, mate. Oh, no. Good point. Why was he on the ground then? No, he was dazed. He was? Why was he dazed? He must have, like, fallen over or something. I think he gets dizzy sometimes. Oh, shit. Uh, your best bet is to have your, um, your SOCOM equipped, mate, so if you encounter him, you can shoot him, like, five times, he'll fall over. But you won't harm him whilst he's got that bomb suit on, so you have to actually shoot him in the head whilst he's falling <laughs> over. Yeah. 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 Shit off. What did you go? What's in that wine? Something's pretty strong. Yeah. He's fucking mental, isn't he? He's... So, will uh, he keep dropping getting... bombs until you kill him? Shit yeah. in hell. Yeah, you have to move, you have to run and shoot at the same time to get him pretty much. There we go. There you go, he's down now. Now plant the couple in his head whilst he's down. To be quick about it. He's just going for kills, but yeah. What? It's easier, I suppose. Well, you can tranquilize him. Alright, I'll do that then. It's up to you, though. Oh, it's got the fishy bit. <laughs> How professional. It said nothing about being professional ever. Nah, yeah, I suppose that's true. Like how he gets up straight away when you shoot him in the head. Mm. <laughs> yeah, don't you do that when someone shoots you in the head. Well. It would be a pretty handy reflex to have. Uh, yeah, it would have. Get back to the bombs. That's all you've been doing, mate. Is your bleeding bombs. Right. What was that? Him. Hey? What were you doing then? That, that was my lolly. I finished it. Oh, right. <laughs> uh... That's what I wanted to do. Shoot him! literally shoot him once, that's it. I think maybe it's just once, yeah. Alright, fair enough. You now, Chris. Item select. It's tricky stuff. Fuck's sake. Bombs everywhere, you know. Yeah, he is. You just walk around? Yeah, this fight <laughs> would be so much easier if he wasn't just like putting bombs everywhere all the time. I suppose this is a, the, each boss fight has to have a gimmick, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah, watch and out, that's... he's right next to you. <laughs> I know. What's he doing? Look at that ninja skills. Ah, oh. get up. Might need some bullets fairly soon. I don't like that weird fox noise and music. 
the what the weird sort of screechy yeah, thing sound. Yeah. Yeah, that's um. I don't think that's a fox. I think it's like a saxophone or something. Or just being played in a weird way. It sounds like a fox screaming. Oh, that. Oh, that. Yeah. It's like a dog sure yelping. Yeah. I'm sure that's an instrument, you know. I think it is an instrument, but it sounds like a fox screaming. Is that? I don't think it actually is a sample. No. Oh my god. I don't know. What, are you holding down X when you press that or something? I'm pressing. Be... I'm pressing the wrong button in the wrong. I'm pressing the buttons in the wrong order, basically. <laughs> Did I? Did I ask for it? No. Just shoot him, mate. When he stood up talking, you should have just shot him down again. He's so calm. You don't have to. There's got to be. Like, there's a, there's a little bit of invincibility frames, but like when he stood around talking, I'm pretty sure you can just shoot him down again and get him. This is one I'll of those admit. boss fights that like can be done really, really quickly, like if you just hound him. Like, you don't have to let him set his bombs or anything, you can just shoot him before he does that. Easier to say than it is to execute. <laughs> Oh, bollocks! It does move very fast for such a big geezer. He's not stunning. Um, I don't know if the stun grenades have much effect. I mean, they're around the area, so they must do something, but you have to be quite close for them, and he just moves so quickly. All right. Worth a go, I suppose, but. That went off the side of the heli carrier, mate. I don't think it. And either. that one just didn't go off until it was way too late. Did it do anything to him? Uh, no, because it took about an hour just to go off. I need some more uh, bullets. His radar thing went off for a second, so it must have done something to him. He needs to stay still. He isn't going to. But this, this boss is rage inducing on the hardest difficulties. Nah, piss off, Otacon. <laughs> it's not, it's not Otacon. It'll be the Colonel. Oh, don't reload now. What would the colonel have told you there? Would he give you some hints on how to beat him or something? Um, I actually can't remember. Yes, possibly. But you're taking your time with it. I need some ammo. More ammo. Does it constantly spawn? Yeah. It does, because you have to have enough to, to do the fight, don't you? So just keep spawning. There you go, you've got 36 now. Stop right. placing bombs. That's a good thing. Haha! <laughs> yep. Bastard. Still got the other tranquilizers in his head. Like you do. Some bullets off to the right. You need some more. Oh, no, I'll just duck on the floor instead. Where is he? Ah, that's more like it. Yeah, you can't shoot him straight away, mate. No, but before, he, he shot him, then he stood up, and he just stood there talking about stuff, and it's like, you could have definitely shot him then. But he's, yeah, if he rides away straight away, then yeah. There are some times when he'll just talk and be a knobhead, and you can shoot him then. Oh, it nearly went off the edge! He doesn't fall off the edge. No matter how close to the edge you is, he never falls off the edge. Oh, oh well done, is man. that it? Canal. You have. That, that was easy. 
I don't make it look hard, but... <laughs> I make this shit look hard. <laughs> <clears throat> and in typical Metal Gear fashion, he doesn't just die, he has to talk a load of shit before he dies. My suit. Party's over. Ooh. Oh, no. Hopefully I'm not going to be as annoyed about the amount of talking this time. The last session... Over for you. So the last session I just sat there and went, fucking hell, really? Oh. Where does he hide all those bombs? I don't think he's fat, I think he's actually quite skinny, but he's got a load of bombs under his suit. Maybe. He looks like Darth Vader when he takes his helmet off. He really does, doesn't he, with the veins <laughs> and everything. Answer me, what the hell is this? It's the switch for the biggest bomb of the entire place. Yeah. Such a dick. Which I heard of my asshole. Once it's activated, there's no stopping the count. Where did you plant it? Where is it? Do you remember where it is, Chris? It's under something, isn't it? It's under him. <laughs> you just pull his body away and it's there. It? Go ahead, shoot me, I'm already dead. Damn. Think you can You're not dead, it. tranquilized. When it goes off, it Was that the extent the there of um of Ryden's the um anger interrogation job. skills? Fucking tell me now! This is the highlight of the party. Bring it on, I say. They'll be happy too. I die here and start my legend. There's no such thing as a legendary bomb disposal, like <laughs> guy. <laughs> and grow fat. These people die like in films and games too dramatically, don't they? It need if you. I think imagine imagine dying. I don't think it's anywhere <laughs> near as interesting as it is. No, you just die. Just die. <laughs> He just turned instantly into cold meat. <laughs> Peter Stillman. Oh, that's the end of that chapter. Thank God. <gasps> Is that the whole tanker chapter done? No, hang on. Good work, right. Not in the tanker. Looks like all the bombs are neutralized. It's the yeah, the main bit of running around the struts is done. You go into the shell core next. You have to get uh, an enemy EDU to get in there. Intentionally kept in the dark, I'd say. He seemed to be coming from a very different place from the other terrorists. Mm. Right. A lot of hostages, our president included, are still in danger. Keep your mind focused on protecting them. What are my orders? Rescue the president. I forgot about Colonel Exe. You haven't been in the central core yet. I you what, sorry? Colonel.exe. Wait, I have another call. Want me to take a good way of putting it? Look at him. Magnificent sh like, shafts of light on your unknown. beard there, Chris. <laughs> your stripey beard. Ooh. Mr. X. <laughs> Pliskin. Is everything oh, no, alright? Nice. It's going to be better. Looks like I was out cold for a while. How did you manage to stay alive? Had a little help from a friend. Friend? What about the bomb? Diffused. And Fat Man too. That's good news. How shell too? He said that a bit too sexy, like, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. What about the toxins? The what? Slate likes the idea of fat people being dead. No, no, I meant Raiden and Fat Man too. Anything about that? They were both getting into it a bit, weren't they? <laughs> I still got blood on my hands. Do you want to frolic? The is starting to flood. It won't last much longer. Well, what about the president and the other hostages? They weren't in shell two. They must be in shell one. We yeah. need to get the hostages out of here now. Now. It's too far from Manhattan for a swim. What about the lifeboats? <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be any. Doesn't make sense. So a chopper is our only extraction? Right. Yep. And it comes with a passenger limit. Intel has it that there are about thirty hostages. It take more than a single trip. We'll have to come back. Can you pilot a chopper? No. But I brought a gearhead with me. Not a He's a good guy. I'll introduce you later. Not a I'm on the heliport right now, <laughs> but I don't see it. It's a bit of It's out somewhere. We better move now, Not then. I keep, chances I keep forgetting about that. You can press. Thing. Do you know Not where the chance. president is? No. That one's all Not yours. What's it, why? What's it doing that? What's, what is the benefit of that? Our orders, Lieutenant JG. Your orders. It's an instant Not little mine. man. What? See you later. Not a chance. <laughs> 
Does he say anything else? Just that? No, I just pressed no, the same, can... same button and he, died. he didn't do anything. Right. Retour, so back down and we're heading towards the warehouse, but there'll be a little cutscene with Mr. X before you do. I'm remembering as we go, like, what happens next. You'll get the level 2 card, basically, which means you can go and get the enemy uniform, so you disguise yourself as an enemy, which is pretty cool. Oh! <gasps> Ninja flip! I forgot he was in this. Yeah. We've already met we've already had a phone call off of him earlier. <clears throat> Are you Mr. X? Look at that butt. <laughs> that ass. Seems we're getting quite a lot of shots, that that ass. Hey, at yeah. least we're getting male shots as well as female though. Definitely. You can't really complain then, can you? Well you can. Equal opportunity exploitation. <laughs> <gasps> Chris. Oh, all my parents are ringing me today. All of them. Oh, wow. All seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I put my phone on mute a minute ago. Seven different Just genders as well, Sam. <laughs> this is safer, I think. Safe from what? <laughs> Even though they're still sat in front of each other going, Hello, how are you doing? Do you know what it's safer from? It's safer from having to program more cutscenes. <laughs> Why won't you identify yourself? Now, I've got a feeling that the new game, it's like, I don't know, I've not played the Ground Zeroes yet, but the, the, the codex and stuff are really, really reduced, aren't they? I didn't see that many actually. I saw a few. Yeah. There's a lot of cutscenes. There's a lot of. Um... Who is it? Yeah. It's it's really it's a really interesting mechanic. Um, Grand Zeroes. I would rather have a cutscene than a codec call, I guess, because at least the cutscenes animated more. There's more going on, even if it does go on forever. It's there's more stuff happening than just talking heads. Do we find out who Mr. X is? Because I can't remember. Yes, you do, yeah. Do you want me to spoil it? I don't want to spoil it for Lou. Of course. No, I, I, I don't think Lou cares I anyway, but. I, I do care. No, you don't. I do. You never care. Where are I always care. I'm, I'm constantly caring. <laughs> anyway, right. he's just telling you where the uh, where the hostages are and what to do next, basically, so. This is where you get the directional mic, innit? Directional mic, yeah. Got funny stuff with that as well. What does he look like? We don't know if it is indeed a he. I've never met this person either. How am I supposed to look for someone without even a description? Use your ears. What's that supposed to mean? Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear them. He says that as if he knew. You expect me yeah. to walk up to these hostages and listen to every one of their heartbeats? The sound is too minute to detect an amplifier. You'll be captured immediately. So what am I supposed to do? Use the directional microphone. There's one somewhere in the core. Yep. V what is that accent? Directional. It's, it's, it's European. It's some sort of European, isn't it? Yeah, it's some middle European. Yes. All level two security doors, including the one into the core. I really can't remember who that is. Really, you can't remember? Well, I'm no? not going to tell you that. You'll be bit. You'll be like, oh, when it happens. Oh, probably, yeah. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. One of the oh, they give you the uniform. Oh, you have to go and get the gun, that's what it is. If you're not equipping the right weapon, they'll spot you. You have to go and get an uh, AKS U or something. You want me to disguise myself? Oh, mate, alright. You're talking about weapons. Right, you need an AK. But I saw them carrying an AN-94. All men assigned to the core section carry AKs. So without an AK-74U, someone will see through me really quick. You could take care of the weapon issue yourself. One other thing. There's more? You'll also Just course. trust this random ninja that turns up. <laughs> Perfectly trusting of him. I find ninjas very trustworthy. Yeah, I, I, they're usually uh, pretty cool. Biometrics. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> So it cuts See, someone's face is, off. 
this is when the game, I think, starts to really get going after the Fat Man bit. Like I said before, that all that bomb disposal stuff is just a way of saying, we've made this big shell, we want you to walk around it. Like, yeah. The nuke. Once you get into the, this is the where the nitty gritty of the game really gets going. And... Continuing presence here unusual. Even with the president as hostage, this is an island, and they have no visible means of escape. Even if they do have a nuke, the warhead is no good without an access code. The security lockout can't be bypassed. They don't need to. They have the code. What? No. The other half of it is on the football or the black case, if you like. The nuclear button. What? And now they have it. The nuclear button that they always carry around. The because football? you do, don't you? Yeah, they call it the football. Yeah. It's real life. Right, okay. <clears throat> Why did they have to just, the football a They like their American football, don't they, in America? Places. I guess. But they didn't have to, because, after all... The they just don't kick it very much. No. Olga. It seems to be a bit of a misnomer, doesn't it? What? Is it Olga? Can't be Olga. Well... Well, I don't know. Do you want me to just tell you? No, I don't. I don't know what. I, I, I shouldn't even have said that out loud. To be fair, sorry. I just, I, I just cannot. I, I, I no. <gasps> Metal Gear. Metal still in the game. Ba -da -da. Yes, indeed. <laughs> na 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 na. You got I don't a know chest. Why the I don't know why the Zelda thing always pops into my head. It's just. <laughs> so fucking terrible. It's so terrible. It's because you opened so many chests in those it's games. The, it's the num was... my number one annoyance, I think, in any game ever. Any games ever invented. Opening that chest constantly. There's fucking 500 of them in every game and you can't skip a single one of them. Na 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 na! Na 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 na! Na na na! It's the worst was one like... Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. It's like, I'm just getting a compass. It's another five minutes of my life wasted. No, we have no one like Someone should string together a uh, like a long play of Zelda just for the great opening. I to bet there, long YouTube man, I bet there is. Every <laughs> every chest opened in Zelda. There's actually um, like you know when you go wrapped to the guy who did the Battle Gear Awesome cartoons and stuff. He also did this couple of these videos called Sequelitis, where he'll talk about like a sequel to a great game, either in a good way or a bad way. He talks about uh, Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past and how he thinks Link to the Past is better. He goes, one of the most annoying things about Ocarina of Time is how you have to wait to do everything. You have to wait when you go through a door, you have to wait to do this. Most of the enemies attack patterns involve waiting until they do their attacks so you can hit them. And he does, there's just like a montage of all the chest openings and goes a bit mental about it. It's quite funny. I just realised my, my window's open. Oh my goodness. I think we've just gone back to gameplay as well in a second. Or is it still... Yep! <laughs> Timed that perfectly. Back! Sorry about that. Right then, so... Um, if you look, at, open your map up for us. Actually, no, I know where you're going. I know where you're going. You're going back to that warehouse because you have to go and get the, uh, the AK-47. So back through the southeast door of this parcel room into the warehouse. No, it's not southeast. Should be able to just run straight down, I think. Yeah, southeast, mate, to the right. I don't know where you're going. Where are you going? West. <laughs> West is best, man. Ah. When you get uh, into the warehouse, you're going down the stairs and into... Um, well, I'll direct you when you get there. Now, is there a geezer, like, going to be doing a lookout on this, or can you just run straight over? No, no, you're going south. You can't go to this. You have to get the gun before you can go into the shell core. I've not really been paying any attention, I'll be honest with you. Right, time. that the ninja gave you the the enemy outfit, but you have to get the right gun as well, otherwise you won't be able to get in. So when you get yep. in here, you're going down the stairs to your right. And into the as you go in here, there's that that first door you see there on your left. It says level two. You're going in there to get the uh, the AK forty seven. What's that? 
do the old run around. As he goes that way, you go around. The... No, no, you're going north, mate. To the north. You're going in that room. To the north. Mate. <laughs> Did you say mole? He said no. More. He said, he said no. <laughs> Freeze, mole! Oh, for fuck's sake. Just. Ah, uh, you better go. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, somewhere in there should be the AK 74U. Be the last place I go. Of course it will be. You don't find it, then keep searching for it. That's just somebody telling you you've got it now. <laughs> I think there's a suppressor for it somewhere, but I honestly can't remember where it is. It'll be in this factory, this uh, warehouse somewhere. Is there another box at the top there? There was an M4 box, but I can't get it without the M4. At the top of the... If you go to the very top end of the room... Oh yeah, I see. Go left now. Oh no, it's just so come bullets. Now, I'm not sure if you can get into any other rooms. Now that you've got level 2 card, if you can get into any other rooms. This warehouse is quite handy for picking up bits. Oh shit. Didn't mean to go out. Well, it doesn't really matter. You can always go straight back in if you want. I could be wrong. It could be a case of there's nothing else to get in here for now. Shoot, then shoot me. Alright. Please don't. Please For don't. sake. <laughs> yeah. That's what I wanted. Ali H. Rafati. Oh, there's a guy coming down to get the little easy you just shot. Nope, two, in fact. Yeah, the guards on the top level, they can like... You got me! Stay yeah. <laughs> I don't think they'll come in that room. Um, they only come in there if they're doing the orange evasion bit. If it's just caution, they're just extra patrol. Blokes. But yeah, I having the suppressor. I think the suppressor. You've already been in there and got the. Uh, that's where you got the circum suppressor from before. But yeah, the AK-47 suppressor is handy because you can shoot down the uh, the flying platform thingies with it uh, without the guard stops to hearing you fire the gun. Right, is there more than one person on this level? Because I can't tell from the radar. Right, on the level, the ones that are bright blue are on your level. The ones that are in faded blue are above you or below you. So well, there's that's three what I above thought. you. So there's two. There's two on this Shit. level now. Sake. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the uh, these are the extra guards leaving the room. Uh, they should all be gone now, I think. So yeah, the guards on top. If you're downstairs doing shenanigans, they can see you. That's why they came down to investigate. Yeah, I really don't think it's worth it. <laughs> See someone upstairs right, just where, we, where are we going then? Right, you're going back out the door you came you originally came in through, so back up to the north end. Up the stairs. But there's a guard coming down to investigate. Shit. Yeah, I saw him. Not a very good place to hide this, is it? Um, it might not be that bad, you know. 
Yeah, but to see you, you can't move. They haven't seen him yet. Uh, 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 oh! Uh, oh. Score! <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon speedrunners sit and squirm as much as Lou does when I, when if anyone watches it? <laughs> yes. Speedrunners have already died of old age by now. They live at such a fast pace. They better Dude, yeah. Like, they live in this door? Is it this one? No, no, up the stairs, mate. That's Fuck. the door you got the gun from. You got me. Jesus. For Fuck's sake. I just go straight out this door, right yeah, in front yeah, of Yeah, I, I was, that's what I was aiming for, I just forgot which door I was going through. Uh, and then you're off to the EF connecting bridge, so... Uh, should be okay. I'm not sure now if when you go over this bridge if some of the panels fall away. Yeah, so just keep going. <laughs> now as soon as you get in there, equip the, um, the AK-47 on you. Weapons and then equip the enemy BDU on your items, you'll get past the camera. Got a minute, Jack? No. No, no. Not, not in the middle of a mission. Oh. Where Solid Snake is interred. Great. Uh. Shoot. I've located the grave site. And the body? Exhumed for DNA testing. <laughs> well, do you have the results? The right arm was missing, but there was no doubt that it was him. That body right, was missing, eh? Snake. Hmm. Who do we know that's got the same genetic code as Solid Snake, but he's missing an arm for some reason? Right. Mm. You sound disappointed. I guess. I guess I was kind of hoping to meet the legend in the flesh. You have done, dickhead. But it looks like you've not seen any photos of him or anything. He's all over computer games and magazines and stuff. Fucking hell. That would be really weirdly meta if Rip Riding had actually played Metal Gear Solid One. Well, he has essentially. Well, he he's has played all of the VR missions. Yeah. Dude, Shit. I know, just... I know! I fucking know you said that! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, Is it gonna make any difference now? Should be alright, actually. No, they'll be in evasion. Don't, now, don't let any guard hit you or touch you because it'll knock the uniform off you. Which is, yes, it's very silly, but. <laughs> what? They say that they explain it by saying that the uniform doesn't fit you very well, and that if you, you know, if you, if some bumps at you, it flies off like a. Sprint. Yeah, you go back to your normal outfit if you. <laughs> <someone's laughs> <into you. laughs> um. Also, doing things like the cartwheel and that will make them suspicious if you just went around cartwheeling. So, you can win around like this as much as you want in, whilst you're in the core. They just don't let any guards touch you. I wouldn't let guards touch me anyway. They've really got to be touching you to knock your clothes off. I think that's just the kind of that, that's yeah. a, a <laughs> that, that's excuse often heard by police officers when arresting rapists. <laughs> he touched me, so my clothes fell off. Uh, if you go back to those lockers on your right, if you go back into that room, sorry, that at the bottom end of the room there, the bottom end of the room, there's some lockers. I think you can get some goodies from them. Not that one though. Obviously. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I guess not. Well, there's lockers, you might as well try and open them up, see what's in there. Yeah, yeah. You know me, bit of a locker haul. There's a book! There's the, uh, the, the Men's Interest magazine, I think it's called. It's a book! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Remember, if a guard, if a guard sees you with the wrong thing equipped, they will go into alert straight away. But you can put one down and just use it as a... Whatever, but they're quite useful, the books, so you might want to save it for later. But that, that door's all knackered. <coughs> so, you go in, have to go and get the directional microphone, which I believe you have to go through the uh, the flooded section in the bottom to get there. I want to shoot all of these guys. If you if you time your uh, your shots right, you can 
get them all, but they have to do it one by one whilst there's not another one looking at you. Just went round in a circle then, didn't I? Did you? Such a knob. So when you get in the elevator, I believe you're going to... I think you go to basement level 2 first. Could be wrong about that. You might as well go to basement level 1 and see what's there, I guess. Because I honestly can't remember which one you go to first. Scanning. He has the right gun. Let him in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I used the elevator, for elevator right for the first time. Hey. He didn't lay on the floor. <laughs> ah, you do need to come in here first. This is where the directional microphone is. This is also where the parrot is as well. The power or the parrot? Parrot. There's a parrot in here. Going, how? How? I can't remember where the node is for this room. I think if you head round to the right and back up the... There's you'll get the radar. Those weird uh, kind of moving cameras. Uh, they seem very out of place in this game. I quite like them, actually. Moving cameras out of place, what do you mean? Well, normally it's up, up, up above you moving around, but in that in that corridor, it was kind of coming down the corridor with you. It really weird. It down the corridor with you. I quite like that. Oh, is this parrot? Can this parrot reveal you? Um, I don't think so. It's just a. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get the directional microphone from somewhere in here. You might have to do crawl to get it or something. Yeah, we'll work it out. We'll work now there it is out. a funny, there is a funny thing you can do in here. If you some of those computer terminals, you'll see a guard walking up to them. Um, so yeah, there's that guard doing that at the terminal there. He's looking at a, a lady. I'm not sure if you can interact with that terminal as well. No, no you can. He's just going around them all, looking at porn on all of them. <laughs> yeah, it's not even porn. It's just a picture of a woman, like a face. Um. Uh, uh. I can't remember where the bloody directional microphone is. It might be underneath one of the desks and that's what the challenge is. You have to get it. Oh, is that in the top left corner there? Maybe. There you go. Oh, fuck's sake, guys. You have the directional microphone. Thank you. Yeah, go and use it. Congratulations. Right. Yeah, so when you go to basement level one, which will take you to the uh, the room with aims in it, I believe you have to get a knock out a guard and drag them to the. Um... It's like a, it's an eye scanner thing. You've got to grab and choke hold the guard, take them to it, and then use their their like, eye scan to get in. Yeah, there you go. Trying to figure so to, all this go, stuff out as well is quite interesting. You know, head to the you east don't... straight away, back up where you came in. It's a weird camera. I think that's where the node is in there, just to get the uh, map and whatnot sorted. And I think that that camera, what it did there, was what Lou was talking about, how it sort of tracks with you as you move. Yeah. I quite like it though, it makes it feel a bit cinematic. I make it must make it hard to control or I don't No, it not being. really. Does the, the game the, always the have a does the game always say kind of have up is up? There's not there, it's not tank controls or anything like that. It's Yeah, but I, do you remember the controls in Final Fantasy VII now in some screens you weren't sure which way was meant to be which? 
because of the camera angles. Yeah, some t it did that it's... in the previous game. That's why I kept running around corners by accident. But no, this right. one doesn't seem to do that at all. No, because you just use the analog stick. So yeah, up on the analog stick goes up in the on the screen up, and down goes down. But even when the cameras, the cameras don't really deviate from the angle too much, so that you don't get confused about which way is up. No, not really. All the guards perverts or something. They just all they do is looking at women in every. Yeah, it's boring, isn't it? Some dog magazines there as well for the for the deviants. Yes. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky! Fuck's sake. The clearing though, so. I might can be alright. Can you pop the enemy BDU back on? Maybe if you put it back on. I can't do it in here. Alright, oh, okay. The clearing Fish. camera is really awesome, I think. Yeah, it's quite cool. Totally doesn't make any sense, but it's nice. Should be all right as long as they don't obviously pull pins. Nearly fucking ran into him then. Oh, close. Right, where are we going up again and out? Uh, no, no, no. You're not going anywhere, mate. You have to stay in this room and wait for these guys to go away. Do you remember where that guy was putting his eye into the thing? You've got to grab a guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So get the, wait for these guys to go away. If there's a guard out in the hall, go behind him, unequip your gun. Yeah. Close. What does he care about yeah. me for all of a sudden? Well, because you were crouching and standing and crouching and standing randomly against the wall. If you do like, if you do loads of weird stuff like that, they will notice you. Like, if you run around cartwheeling constantly, they'll notice you. I mean, the AI's not that advanced, but they spot That's pretty good, though. certain behaviors. Yeah, there's loads of guards around, so you have to just wait until the caution mode's gone. There should be one in the hall, and you can just. Get the old choke hold on him. And if you just drag him towards the thing, it'll automatically push him into the the eye scanner. Then you're good to go. It's not true analog though. It's like either slow or fast. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But even that for its time was a bit like, oh, I can go slow and fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Alright, so that dude is going to be walking out of the room again. Should be. The other two stay stationary, yeah? This yep. is the guy that sort of walks around, so just stand there, wait for him to come out. Then, when he's facing away from you... Where am I dragging him to? Unequip. And Where unequip am I dragging him to? To the eye thing, right next to the door on the right, that big... There, there, door. right. There, yeah. Shit. Oh dear. I don't really get what you did there. Did you just run into him or something? Yeah. Right. Here we go again. <laughs> Clearing. Clear. Checking the lockers. Nah, no, not, not asked. Not bothered. No one would ever hide in a locker. Your yeah, I think they're only checking lockers if you leave a blood trail, like in the tanker chapter when that happens. Chris, I know it's only a small point, but on my Skype thingy, you, there's a mouse over your screen, like a mouse icon. <laughs> There you go. That's probably been there the whole time. It no, has, no, yeah. <laughs> no, only, only because um, no, it's not. It's not going out. Don't worry. All right, sweet. All right, never mind then. Disregard that, viewers. Yeah. Just looked like Chris had a mouse curse up his nose. Yeah, a little bit.
Stay alert. Yeah. I forget what the settings are like in this game, but I think if you tap, if you just tap R1, it'll unequip the gun quickly. You don't have to like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I did select. that last time. I just walked into him because I'm a dick. All right. Okay. I know how to do it. <laughs> just, I just didn't it like, execute a, it very well. There is a setting as well where you can have it so that the quick select selects the last two items, so you can switch between guns. But it depends right. what gameplay style you like. Really, it doesn't really matter. Right, which button is it again? Square? Square. But you have to be not running whilst you do it, so oh, now... Oh, fucking uh, hell. So not like that, basically. Right, pick him up, grab, drag him over, see if it works. Oh, that'll work, won't it? I don't know if he has to be a conscious first, but give it a go. Yeah, he has to be conscious. Wait, for, Just put him down, wait for him to stand up and just grab him straight away when he wakes up. If you just stand behind him and just make sure you don't move as you do it. There we go. Oh, can't do oh, that. Weird. You what? You can't do that. What do you mean you can't do it? Fuck's sake. You can't do it straight away, he turns around instantly. Oh, right, okay. Back, back to the locker. Who sh who saw me then? I don't think anybody did. Where did he go? Sarge, does these like six foot tall, three foot wide lockers? Do you reckon he'd be in there? No. A ridiculous <laughs> question. That guy's even looking at it. Oh, oh. Oh dear. There we oh. go. Oh, this is going to be uh, interesting, isn't it? I reckon there's another death coming up here. This is going to cost me one pound. <laughs> yeah, it probably is going to cost you a quid here. Oh my lord. <laughs> Fuck. Can't wheel them today. It's not going to cost you a pound. Because <laughs> what the hell is going on? Just kill them. What happens if you kill them all? Can you, can you not get in? Um, I don't know if it's unlimited spawning enemies in this kind of situation. It isn't in Metal Gear Solid 3, they will stop after a while, but I don't know if this one is just constantly respawning enemies if you keep killing them. Try your enemy uniform now. Stop. Yeah, there's only me in this room, so it would be very silly if they did actually pick me up. Very silly. Oh, that call is like, shut up, man. I know. So that guy just watched his colleague go into a cupboard. <laughs> yeah. I'm really sorry, everybody who's watching this. I'm, I'm doing this part particularly badly. This whole playthrough, in fact, so far has been pretty bad. <laughs> it's a very forgiving game, though, isn't it? That's so, I mean, it's in only the forgiving. You were just getting killed all the time. It, yeah, I've not died anywhere near. I'm mean, eight times, isn't it, since we started the game? Yeah. But lots and lots of alerts. Yeah. Maybe that's like a balance thing because the sneaking is more difficult in this game, but maybe the punishment isn't as severe. Hmm. I mean, you can have it on extreme where, like, is it one of the extreme settings where getting spotted is a game over? Um, yeah. Oh, so man! Yeah, that's. Oh, come on. Fucking hell! He walked into me then. Yeah, I, de I genuinely think that whilst this stuff is going on, your best bet is just to stay put until they've all gone away. You're not gaining anything by walking around. Kicked him at the door. <laughs> Ow. So much death. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Uh, as if. Ah! Fucking shot him in the face about 500 times. Oh, I've run out of fucking. Shit. Now I'm dead. Yeah, you think you are gonna die. Oh, blood! On the plus side, at least you get to walk into this room in a nice, calm thing and try again. Yeah! If at any point someone said, it's all clear, let's go back to our stations now after this, like 10 guards dead in the corridor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I would have took my headphones off and walked out the room, to be honest. <laughs> They would have done, so you might as well do that. They anyway. would have done. They would have done. <laughs> That's the logic. Everything's uh, fine now. Have I got all my back, my rations back? Uh, you should be in the same state you were when you came in this room, yeah. So I just wait in the corridor for the geezer and try and grab him. Do oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> square! Not circle, it's square. What the hell happened? Oh! I swear this bit's not that hard. <laughs> It's because I'm spacking up the grabbing you bit. The, you keep pressing the wrong button. Pressing I'm not pressing the, button, the wrong... Oh, I did press the wrong button then, I think. Yeah, it's square, not circle, mate. Remember, square is... Like, you have to, that's where you have to unequip your weapon to do it. Because you can still punch with the weapon equipped, but you can't grab. <laughs> Locker Simulator 2014. This game's from like 2001, isn't it, though? <laughs> yeah, but the simulation part hasn't hasn't transpired until Chris played it. <laughs> this is emerging gameplay, isn't it? <laughs> Metal Locker Solid. <laughs> Ooh. Should we do a musical interlude? <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties, please stand by. <laughs> I'm embarrassed, I'll be honest, how, how long it's <laughs> taken me to get through this one room. <laughs> getting really warm in this room as well. It's because you're getting angry at the game, getting hot and bothered. Hmm. I'm going to give it 30 seconds. Before, after this is finished, <laughs> in order to come out into the car like a calm environment. Well, yeah, let the uh, the extra guards go away as well. <clears throat> I think it's back to standard now. Yeah. Aye. Right, so I think what you did before square. Was, was I punched him. Square. Yeah. yeah, what you did before was exactly right. You just you press the wrong button, so you can just he'll, he'll stop right outside the uh, biometric scanner. You just grab him there or wherever. There you go. <gasps> now you might God start to struggle that. a bit, but you should be all right. There you go. And this knocks him out as well for some reason. But yeah, as, as it would. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about the DB, BDU now, does it? Uh, yes, it still does actually. You need it. Yeah. In fact, you need to keep the weapon equipped. You have to make sure, when you're using the directional microphone, make sure that no guards can see you using it as well. And you can keep asking random people, like, if you go to the wrong type of people and say, are you aim some of them or wet themselves? <laughs> it's really funny. 
Not for them, obviously, but for me. Don't let the enemy see you use a directional microphone. He's just telling you what I told you. The only thing we know is that Ames wears a pacemaker. His heartbeat should sound different from other people's. So use the directional microphone. Right, this is the president, isn't it, that you're serving? No, you're looking for um, the security chief, Ames. Oh, right, okay. Because um, surely you'd know if the president was male or female, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think Ames is going to tell you where the president is. The ninja said Ames knows where he is, basically. Security could get tighter, too. Try to be sure before you take the risk. Don't call out to a hostage with the action button until you're fairly sure that it's Ames. If you do make a mistake, switch the microphone for an AK and get out of there before a guard gets suspicious. Mm. If you're discovered inside, they'll cut off your retreat and call in the reinforcements. You won't make it out of the room. Yeah, basically, getting discovered in this room is a game over. <coughs> oh, Christ. Get that. ready for uh, a number of pounds being added onto that, that total. Now, I, I hesitate to say it, it isn't that difficult to not get spotted in this room, but... <laughs> I'm trying to remember because I think I know what Ames looks like, so if you run around a bit, I might be able to just spot him for you. He's wearing a white shirt, I know that much. So he's not one of the is guys it, in his Is it not random every time? No, it's the same bloke because he has a cutscene. <laughs> um, you can talk to these people and some of them will react in weird ways, but I don't know if you bothered about all that. How do you talk to them? Um, right, so just. You have to equip the directional microphone and be looking at them and press triangle. It'll say, are you Ames? Maybe he is wearing a, a suit because there's no one here in just a white white shirt, is there? You basically, as long as that guard's not looking at you, you can check people's heartbeats with the pace, uh, directional microphone. And it'll go into first person mode as soon as you equip it as well. So There he is. That's the guy. He's got the beeping heartbeat. That's him. I didn't actually hear it. Right, get. Right, wait for this guard to go away. Right, you should be all right now. Equip it again and point at the guy you're looking at. The first I, guy. I there. don't need a hundred percent run through, Sam. Thanks for that and everything, but. Well, <laughs> you're know, telling sometimes me like you do. Sometimes you do. You walk into a room and go, "Which door am I going out of?" It's like, yeah. If I ask you, you go out the wrong door. <laughs> Right. I assume you heard the beat that time, though. Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm gonna pick some stuff up while that guard fucks off. Oh, there, so it has a good pickup to have. I seem to remember him being there for some reason, that's why I went straight to him. Yeah, yeah, he's in the same place every time. I assumed it was oh. random. Nah, it's not. It would have been better if it was, actually, for repeat playthroughs and stuff, but no. You must be Ames. Keep still and yep. listen to me. I'm not a terrorist. However, that guy that was doing that routine walk around in the thing has suddenly stopped doing his route. Well, it's cutscene time. Yeah. Who told you about me? An informer calling himself Mr. X, dressed like a ninja. Watch him being told that. <laughs> Take this thing off me, will you? He wasn't dressed like a ninja, though. He was. He's not. Ninjas don't wear like body, like robotic body armor, do they? He was dressed like the Metal Gear Solid Universe version of a ninja. Secret Service. Yeah, right. yeah. No, I was set in by the Lali Lu Lu. Like I love the Lali Lu Lu Lu. Lo. Yeah. The Lali Lu Lu. How do the Lila. Japanese pronounce that with all the L's and things? That's racist. Got that. We have that's, no time, so that's I'll be brief. just they don't pronounce L's very well. It's just really <laughs> common thing. There is no L in the language, is there? Yeah, there's no L in their uh, alphabet or their language. Yeah. It, it's an American conspiracy theory, isn't it? Lee la le la lu or whatever. Yeah, it, it does stand for something. The la le lu le lo. It sounds really stupid, that though, doesn't it? It sounds like a little baby toddler speak. It does stand for something, though. Yeah, of course. I can't remember what it, it means. Right here. 
They're basically the Patriots, the conspiracy, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. To the first floor of Shell 2's core section. I don't understand how this is easy. I, I don't get it. It's it's just nonsense. Like this codex stuff. It's just easier to program conversations like this, and they're not secure because they must be sat there, physically speaking, as they're doing this. Right? This isn't like mind reading communication where they're just thinking these thoughts, are they? I know. I. I what I've always had a problem with that though. Let's let's get on the codec right next to this guard that stood there. Right. And the yeah. Colonel, it doesn't do make do? any sense. There's the no way of getting around it. It is just bollocks. It's like Bill Nye. Oh, well. Nye. The password is nothing. There's a bit in there, like a young Bill Nye. Data of the yeah. US president. Physiological data. The president's own vital signs, heartbeat, brainwave pattern, blood pressure, and so on, are constantly monitored and relayed by his internal nano machines. This information Nano machines. The DNA pattern, serve Very as a important. Password, unbreakable even by the latest parallel processor supercomputers. The password entry itself cannot be performed unless brainwave patterns and heartbeats fall within normal parameters, rendering chemical and other forms of coercion impractical. In other so basically, words, they can't launch a nuke. It must be made of the president's own there you go. free will. As a failsafe, the input must also be reconfirmed hourly, even after the initial login. If a valid confirmation is not forthcoming, the system will automatically cancel the login. And that's why they can't harm the president. At least until the bird flies. Is there really a new model of Metal Gear here? Absolutely. The black case serves as the launch key to Metal Gear as well. Why would they hide Metal Gear in an offshore plant? Haven't they told you anything? Nope. The entire thing was planned. The oil spill, the tanker accident that caused it, everything. The big shell was built specifically for the development of a new Metal Gear model. The inspection tour was to check its progress. What's going on around here? <laughs> just told you, mate. Just told just you. said that. <laughs> exactly yeah. what's going on around here. Here comes Snake. Snake? The man calling That's himself him? Snake. Yeah. Use the microphone to listen in. Oh, mate, right, we've got to do something funny here. Now, this conversation, we don't really care about what they're saying, do we? So let's have a bit of fun. Now, it should be pointing automatically at Solidus. Yeah. If you move it to the left, there's a Batman toilet. Is dead. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, now. I'm sure it's to the left. There's somewhere in there you can move it, and there's a guy in the toilet having a shit. <laughs> and it's it's that Johnny Sasaki guy, and he's like, Ugh. oh, where is it? I'm sure it's to the left. That's it. That's as far as I can go, mate. Ah. No, there's definitely something you can hear in here. Oh, I can't remember where it is. I thought it was to the left. Maybe it's not as far as I think. Maybe it's just somewhere to the right of that glass bit. Anyway, whatever. I like the way the subtitles get bigger and smaller. That's a nice yeah, one. yeah, it's cool. <laughs> what about the damage to Shell Two? Nothing. Right. It's it definitely is there somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. Being drawn in is overflowing, and the lower block of the central section is flooding. I've got a feeling it's over that door, but obviously it's not. Just evidently not. Now that's it. Oh. Yeah. Ridiculous that I had to get jacked. I had something. It was on me. When I think there you go. It, that's when everything started to hit the skid. It's a shame. Up to that point, I was steady cruising on the elite course. Oh, oh, oh here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Still, that Russian crew is a pretty decent bunch. The president's escort guys get on my nerves, though. 
Oh, is he talking to himself as in shit? Yes. For now, just gotta hang in there. Do you not talk to yourself in the toilet? No. About recent plot developments. <laughs> <laughs> Side plot developments. Yeah. I feel like I should though. I feel like this is setting the example for me. <coughs> is that it? Um. Maybe. Yeah. Ah oh, well, whatever. It it it's About there. The unit's activation almost complete. The code has already been entered. All we need now is for the girl to start the system. The girl method, I assume. No, the drugs took care of everything. Mm. Only a few more steps to outer heaven. Outer heaven. Oh. 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 Sorry. What the happened? What happened there? Ninja, Shalashaska? I cannot even guess. I dropped my controller. What about you? Yeah. Olga, don't cast suspicion where it isn't due. Where it isn't due? When you watched my father die and did nothing. It's been two years ago, Olga. Let it go. I read the case file for Shadow Moses. <laughs> Let it go. Your dad's dead. How could you? Yeah. Oh, your dad's dead. Let it go. Sorry. How meaningful you make that sound. If Sergei were still alive. If the old man were still alive, I wouldn't need to take orders from you. Olga. Yeah. Sergei was my best friend. Problem, you if killed him. You sell us out. I'll kill you myself. Listen, daughter of Sergei. Don't ever let me see your gun pointed at me again. If you wish, I'll put a bullet in your back instead. Stop this infighting. I took you both in what when was no that? one else would. You it was her with a gun. Oh, that was, it was, oh, was uh, Rob in his gun. Yeah. Uh, the worst kind of wet works, maybe. I couldn't really see that. <coughs> is he finished having a poo, has he? He just said something. It's down, isn't it? Left a bit. Yeah, down there somewhere. Oh well, who cares? We heard a little bit of it. The hell? Hmm. It's happening again. This is that an epi? Right arm. Liquid. It's almost as if it's having its revenge. How much <laughs> do you think we spent on that arm in Leon? The best transplant surgery team in the world. I hate it when I enemies talk like this. Uh, all French exposition, French. yeah, all monologuing, exposition giving you information that they wouldn't say naturally in a conversation, you know? No, no. I know it's necessary sometimes, but I think it's lazy as well. There's better ways of doing it. There's, mm. there's ways of getting around it, I think. I have the intruder to take care of. I think the thing about Metal Gear with me, the thing I like it so much, the gameplay is awesome, generally, and the characters are interesting, but the story is a bit shit. Is that really solid you know, it's not... That's what he claims. It's not fantastic. Solid it's like, I, it's quite wacky. But he's also here in the shell. Um, Either he survived or there are Yeah, it's not realistic or anything. It's some kind of weird, weird collision of uh, Japanese and... Like the Japanese take on American, but it's got it's got yeah. kind of that mythology as well, that kind of um, almost realistic craziness. Like I'm thinking specifically of things like Psycho Mantis, and you know, like that. It, it's obviously could never happen, but it's just it's in the interesting way that they've done it. Yeah, and they go to great lengths to have like the weapons be authentic and things like that. Uh, and they talk about real historical things happening and tying it into their own law as well. You know what you need to do before then. Fire the nuke, but it's nowhere close to the ransom deadline. Ransom. Thirty billion dollars in cash. What are you babbling about? The nuclear strike is not a threat. It's been the objective all along. They plan to slaughter millions of people. No, a high altitude detonation. You've heard of the Compton effect? Total disruption. I'm straight out of Compton. I was just going to say that. <laughs> Dr. Dre straight out of Compton is of it. Answer. 
Well, when an average nuclear warhead goes off within the atmosphere, the result is an electromagnetic pulse of up to 50 billion megawatts. The EMMA <coughs> field can reach tens of thousands of volts per meter, and most electronic equipment will be toast in an instant. Volts per meter? Is that actually a proper unit of measurement? It would be volts per meter squared, I imagine, if it's going to be anything. <coughs> but that isn't their aim. What they plan to do is liberate Manhattan, pull it offline and turn it into some kind of a republic. Hence, and they try to shut down all the, uh, uh, you know, the computers and the technology in Manhattan and I'm going offline. therefore set the world free. How long have we been going? Um, it's nearly one o'clock. That doesn't so, help me. Well, Wait, what time did we start? Hurry. Oh. Quarter past eleven, I think. It's a security card. So no, we didn't. There was, there was a few missteps. Uh, we didn't half eleven then. Hour and hour and a half. Hour and a half in one room. Take care of the president yeah. before they launch the nuke. <laughs> oh. Liquid revolver shirasha laka laka laka. He's coming here. Pick up your AK. Liquid revolver shot. Liquid revolver shot. Um, I don't know. Somewhere. Oh, am I fighting him now? No, just to equip your gun. Got a trophy for that. Silver trophy as well, I think that was, wasn't it? Uh, I didn't see. I didn't pay attention. I'm ill, you see. Bullshit. I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. What are you talking about? No need for denials. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the president was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. You know what he could do now? Right. Shoot him right in the face. You. Mm. End of. Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lulay Lo. So. Lali Lulay Lo. It goes in line with like Majestic 12 and all that other conspiracy theory stuff, the Illuminati and all that. It's sure a it silly, does. silly named one. Oh, oh. Fox die? Um, I don't think so because it's just his, they just fucked his pacemaker up. I think. You, which team are you with? Delta. You bombs. Show me your face. <laughs> you know who he is. No, he is not one of mine. How can you tell? Identify yourself. Obviously, he's got a not one of yours on his eyes. Just his eye holes. Last. Oh. Oops. Oh, here we go. Ninja time. Oh, Whoa, nearly lost your arm again, mate. Not his arm. Well, here we go. I this know. is where the mintness starts. Sounds feminine. You, yes, it does. Died. It's not Meryl, is it? No, mate, it's not Meryl. I can tell you that much. Meryl's not in this game. No, I didn't think so. I just can't. I can't for the life of me remember who it is. Maybe it's Rose. <laughs> I, no, it's not. It's, it can't be. So you, 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 you are saying it's a female character then? No, it just sounds female, but I can't remember. Don't care. Is. Whatever. Oh. So there really is a new type of metal gear in this place? Apparently. Yep. We're still looking into it. I'm Five hours into the game and you realise that there's actually a metal gear that you're chasing. After from the start, yeah. Not the thirty billion dollars. Right. It was a cover up all along. Colonel, oh, what are you keeping goodness. from me? I am not keeping back anything. It's not as though I'm told all the facts either. 
Bollocks. I'm calling in all the favors I can to look into all this. Just be a little patient. Our priority should be with the president right now. We can take it that they've completed the password entry and are preparing Metal Gear for a nuclear strike. Get to the president as soon as possible. But the president is cooperating with them. According to Ames, yes. But it's also true that they're about to get rid of the president. There's something else going on here. And the president may be able to tell you what it is when you see him in person. Ah. Once they get the confirmation for nuclear <laughs> launch... Not a chance. It, you need to rescue the president before then. Do I? Jack, I agree with the colonel. Shut you up, we don't care about your opinion. <laughs> You're just the safe... All right. ...person. Person. <laughs> Have you got the mask anymore for the BDU? No. You might as well not bother wearing it then. You're back in normal sneak mode now. Oh, fuck off. I I'm going to put that down to a bug in the game. That one. What is you mean? When you push towards and you go into a into a locker it makes you bigger and it pushes your leg backwards and he saw me through the bloody oh well they're opening another one are they going to oh. open this one that was lucky here we go look down I don't think it makes a difference don't no. close it mate About all these As if he wasn't dead. all their families. Oh. <laughs> this room is like a bloody abattoir. This is like the, the death room right here. It's <laughs> where all good soldiers go to die. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Oh, he's just thrown a grenade. Oh, it's only a stun. Flash bang, yeah. Oh, man. They went right, right into the room and not bothered with me. Right, what am I supposed to do then now? Get out of this room somehow? Yeah, yeah. Shall I wait? It's not going to wait, is it? It's going to stay on radar. It's going to stay like that for a while. You could just, just tranquilize these guys. Mind you, if that guy keeps facing that direction, then you're not going to have much chance, are you? Fuck. Yeah, I did see that coming a bit. Shot. <laughs> oh, I actually have to press the fucking elevator, don't I? Yeah. Be a good start, wouldn't it? Oh shit. I don't know if you can. What the hell? Someone threw a grenade. <laughs> uh, flash grenade. Yeah, you can't use it whilst you're in alert. Ah. Uh. Where the hell did he come from? Mm, there could be a bit of an endless spawning guards problem here. Fucking hell. <laughs> God. Oh! 
Honestly! Yeah, I think they're just gonna keep coming, mate. Well, I'm trying to get away from them. Fucking hell. If they open this, I'm just gonna quit. Had enough. <laughs> I think you need to draw it to a close pretty soon, to be honest. I want to get out of this bloody room. Yeah. I think you can save it, and it'll just save, like, as in when you first come out of the room. It would, but let's get out of this room first. I've opened the lift now, I'm nearly there. The fact there's no guards around there, you can just go, I think. That's why I'm walking. Go, 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 go. One or B two? Um, yeah, I think B, I think one. I think you'd headed out of here and over to shell two now. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah. You're heading to the west of this room. Could be wrong about that. There was a door that wasn't opening before that I think you can get through. Oh well. <laughs> Jack, what's going on? Answer me! Jack! Jack! Yeah, he's dead, Fluff. Get over it. The amount of times he's been shot is more bullet than human. I'll go down in a second. <clears throat> oh shit. <sighs> that was perfectly timed. Right. I, I th yeah, so I think it's through that door to the west end here. Could be wrong about that though. So through. Uh, yeah, that one. That one you just went towards. I kind of need some rations, so I want to see what these guys have got. <clears throat> Nothing. Naff all. And bullets. <coughs> now I've got vanilla rice in my head. If you go back... Are oh, you looking for rations, sorry? Oh, don't close it again, though. If there weren't any in these lockers before, there aren't going to be any there now. There was, there was before, but maybe the. Was there? Yeah, I think uh, they obviously don't count, do they? They disappear and only last for the time you're there. Right, so. No head, so head back to the to the west, mate. I want you to just see if that door now works. Because there was a door that wasn't working before, but I'm not sure if it is now. I could be wrong. Just have a look through that doorway to your left. Back. Big doorway to your left, there. Just that door still not working, right? Sorry, it's not working. Doesn't matter. I just thought waste, it might be wasting right my now. time. There's a, you time. do come, you do go through that door at some point in the game. But I wasn't sure if it was now or later. So yeah, obviously now you've got a silenced pistol, you can just shoot these cameras and destroy them if you want. Well, really don't know why you did that. Who oh, shot? Oh, oh. What? Oh, it was the camera. Fucking yeah, the hell. camera. Where am I going? Left, right, or up? Yeah, go to the right. Oh, get up, you fat bastard. Fell off somehow. <laughs> yep. No, this isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer me. 
Right, I just want to get past this alert stage and then I'm, I'm, I've am i had enough. I've had enough of dying constantly. <laughs> Actually, I've not, I've not died, died that you, many times. You, no, you, you, you haven't died that many alerts, times. Alerts, just all the yeah. alert phases. Oh, fucking hell, I forgot about them. Good things. <laughs> Stop then, because I thought, oh, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna slip on the zombie pigeon stuff. Eagles, as they are commonly known. <laughs> zombie, zombie pigeon. <laughs> Technically correct, I think you'll find. Up. Um, I can't remember. Look at your map, please. You go into shell, yeah. So up, you go into shell two. So you have to go up to that northernmost strut and then through there. Strut. Uh, it's the strut in the uh, the sediment pool. You head through the north door. I think the cards you've got now will let you get through there. As far as I'm aware. Headed oh. towards the uh, the underwater section fairly soon. Yay! Yeah, not doing that. I quite, I don't know, underwater sections are a bit of a thing, but I think it's not an entirely bad one. Go, just go, you're gonna get seen! How did, did you, you kill that guy then? Yep. Yeah. Because his code of vision wasn't on it. <laughs> There's a dude up there with his uh, binoculars. And there's just, it looks like there's a cipher thingy coming over as well. Oh, it's just another bloke with binoculars, I don't know. Can I see it? Oh! Nice. Oh, nicely done. One, one bit of good sneaking so far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's the northern door in this room. I believe you can get through it now. Uh, so just on this level, yeah. Should be able to just run straight over without any problems. I will find a problem somehow. You'll make a problem somehow, <clears> yeah. <throat> I think if we get to the... I think the main... Is there a bit of a thing? Yes, here we go. The obligatory sniper section. Oh god. I forgot you've got to go back to the bloody warehouse and get the sniper rifle with. <laughs> oh, fucking trackbacks. I forgot about that shit. Fuck this game, yo. <laughs> and it's it's easily the best. It, it's a miles better control system, but the actual game feels like it's punishing me constantly. Which isn't good. That's not you know? so much a game, that's it's more to do with the fact that you're shit at it. Um, no, I'm playing the game. You have been playing the game not not very well, <laughs> being honest. There are sensors in place on the connecting bridge between shells one and two. If you break the beams, the Semtex will go off. Yeah, I heard them talking about that. It's hard to play concentrate on it and have you guys talking and listening to what's going on in the game, you know, and having to react to it. And then you guys, it's oft, quite often, you're you're like two seconds behind what I've already done. You're like, no, 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 don't do that. And I've already died or already done what I've done. True. And that must be the control unit. All right, so do I just go forward and get shot? You have to go and I think you have to get the sniper rifle to properly do this section. Um, it must be in the warehouse. I can't remember where though. You can shoot some of them with the pistol, but obviously the ones that are really far away, you need the sniper rifle for. Use the first person view or the sniper scope to look around. I'm pretty sure it's in the warehouse. Um, are we going to do that bit now, or do I do it for another time? That's no, another let's, time. let's do it another time. I've had enough now. I just shoot the ones <laughs> that you can shoot for now. Before we come back next time, I'll double check where it is. I'm pretty sure it's in the warehouse. I mean, you can ask the uh, your advice people on Codec where it is, but like if you ask Snake, I think he'll tell you.
shot that one, didn't I? Is it, is it, do I have yeah, to do the ones far away then? You have to do all of them. There's one on top of that cipher thing that's floating around. There's one behind that flag that's fluttering as well. Then there's more of them on diff more diff higher difficulty, so I'm not sure. I don't know if you hit that one. I'll find out when the flag disappears. You say it's on the stifer? On the top of it, right on its head. You'll, you'll be very, very lucky to hit it with a pistol. <laughs> Stupid place to put it, isn't it? It's quite clever because it's hard to shoot it. I want to give it a go. And gee, if you just destroy the cipher, that might do the job. Don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't actually. I've got a feeling it won't. Uh, score. Where's it gone? There it is. Fuck's sake! Right. I'm going to save anyway, because I don't want to have to go back. And that'll do. I'll do for <coughs> today. What's up, Jack? Ooh, What's up, Doc? Right, yes, yeah, so... Thank you for watching. Thanks for your patience with my terrible game gaming. Oh, shut up, woman. She's the, she's the most annoying woman I've ever come across in, in a game. Oh, shit, and I just rang her again. Just call her again. Just, just tell her how annoying she is. Hang in there. There we go. Right. <laughs> I still find the control, even though the control system's a lot better, I still find it unintuitive when I go back to it after a while, you know? I still think that the buttons are in the wrong place and some of the things are slightly, slightly wrong, but that's just my own personal opinion. Right, so yes, thank you very much for watching part three, four? I, part, I don't know, is this part four or five? It might be three or four, I think. Of this game? Yeah, we haven't no, done that many of this. We did at least two parts of the tank chapter. <laughs> I'll I'll see anyway either way. So uh, yes, so, thank you for thank you for watching. On Wednesday we'll be live at seven thirty with our regular talk show, and uh, we're not going to be doing our Friday releases for a bit. We might do ad hoc multiplayer things, um, yeah. but yeah, we're just going to do this Metal Gear Solid run through, and then maybe choose another game afterwards or something. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Well, thanks for watching, everyone, and it's uh, bye from us all. Bye bye. bye, -bye.